the festival that never ends is the best way of describing the Opera House, whereas lots of other venues have peaks and troughs and they go through periods of dark. There's never a dark moment here. Just about how busy the place is and how amazing the people are that work here because of the sheer number of shows that happen. It's a pretty hard day in the concert all most days. We are giving the concert hall a good run for its money over the last few years. I think the building itself is the challenge. That is the challenge. Make all this happen in this, this space because, yeah, it's tough sometimes. What may go into a, a normal venue with a, huge, a small amount of pre-planning here requires a lot more work and a lot more effort from everyone. It's teamwork and so of course you have problems and discussions, but we have constructive butting of heads. So it's actually, it's really, really nice to be working with other production managers. Like to be back in this splendid house. There are some venues which call something forth from speakers that may not have been there before. So, so the Opera House is one of the three, I'd say, inspiring venues for a, uh, to ask a speaker to do something different. There's there's quite a few people you meet, and there are quite a lot of famous people you meet, and um, I, I think the. For, for me, the interesting thing is that when you actually get to meet them, they're sometimes not the person you expect. And that's the thing, you, you realise the people you remember the most are the ones you actually just have a normal conversation with. Robert Smith from The Cure, he was an amazing professional. It's surprising sometimes. Those, <laughs> those little moments when you go, this is truly awesome. It's, yeah, someone that no one else gets to deal with currently, the only Australian show. So I think they're those moments that you really enjoy and understand why you're here. The first time I was here, it was a great success. So, I mean, you know, when you w walk out and you see the place, you think, Jesus, you know. I mean, I'm sure it's the biggest place I've ever played. And I introduced everyone all day. So it was like working in a movie theater. In between, I'd walk around, eat lunch. It was like almost took the tickets. I've had a much a wider breadth of contemporary music than um, I would have ever had before. And one of the gigs I do here, because I took over from Tristan in that role, is looking after Vivid. So I think some of those big high-end acts you get to work with here that you don't get to work with anywhere else is pretty amazing. It's also a venue of extremes. Lots of people have the concert hall as on their list of things they want to do, and quite often you'll get artists come in and they'll, it'll be the biggest thing, it's on the bucket list, the producers won't want to do it, but the artist really, really wants to tick it off and they push to come to the concert hall. crazy you know you know like this whole trip that I've been on here is it feels like it's all about this show you know and all you know like, maybe it's all in my head but it just it just feels like you know this is this is the one that you know, I've been practicing for I appreciate you guys make noise for the visual team please look it's the Opera House you walk uh, down to the Opera House and that's the view you, you see that's your office and that is actually very very special to actually have that view and say, that's where I'm working.